So one thing that you may need to do when you set up Android Studio, and in fact, you probably do need to do it um, if you've installed Android Studio from scratch, before you can get started on the machine project, is to install SDK 29. Um, I apologize for this, it's sort of partly my fault in terms of how things got set up, but um, newest versions of Android Studio come with a newer version of the Android SDK, SDK 30 by default. Um, our MP is set up to use SDK 29. Not a big deal, but if you open up the MP and like stuff's not working, it's not building, you know, you might see an error message related to this, here's how to address it. So the first thing you have to do is you have to get to the splash screen. You probably can't do this from inside the project view. So if you have the project open already like this, all you need to do is close out of it um, and that will return you to this, the, the startup screen, right? The splash screen. Uh, I don't know what this is at, at about. I'll hit, uh, okay. So we go on to configure and then we go to the SDK manager. It should be the first option. Open this up. Now you'll see over here uh, that I've got 29 and 28 installed. If you don't already have 29, you need to install 29. Uh, so you check this box. I'll show you how to install this using 30, but what you need to do is install 29. I've already got 29, right? You need to install this. So you're gonna check this box um, and then you'll hit okay. And then it'll hit okay. And then you have some licenses that you're gonna have to install. Um, you know, this will take a minute, depending on the speed of your network connection, to get all this stuff. Now, again, I'm installing 30. You need to install 29. You will probably have 30 already. You don't have to uninstall old ones. You can have multiple versions of the Android SDK installed at the same time. Okay, I'm done, right? Um, if you don't have that installed, nothing else will work. So take the minute, install Android uh, SDK 29, configure SDK manager, choose 29, click through the dialogues that come up, and you're done. So that's uh, a step that you might need to take as you uh, get started uh, on the machine project.